What's going on, Bulls Nation? Welcome in. It's the HGO Bulls Post Game coming to you live from our studios here in West Loop, downtown Chicago. I'm Peck, Bulls underscore Peck. Big day. Bow. Bow. PWL Sports, Will the Go Godly, Will underscore Godly. Our panel producer on the controls is Mr. Joseph Spathis. He's at Joey Spathis. 1.2K. Woo! Uh, guys, that game had everything. I was excited. Henry Drell knocking down clutch three. Let's go. Daylon Terry poster dunk. Tell him, Matt. And I have lost my will to live. How are y'all? Oh, good. I thought you, doing you good? thought you lost it a while ago. No, I think that was it. I think that, that was the it. one. I think that Bulls Wizards game just now. Oh man! And that fourth quarter that took way too goddamn long. Mm-hmm. God, that that last was it. Avdia who missed that last shot? Mm-hmm. That scared the shit out of me. Well, let me. The you. last thing any of us needed was five more minutes of whatever the hell that was. Because all of us who sat through it are now are now dumber for having done so. Well, I'm gonna say, I feel like on. I lost half my brain cells. Hold on to that. And I wheel, didn't have man. that many to start. Thank you very much. Hold on to that wheel, because guess what? There's one more to go. You got one more game left, baby. Hold on, Matt, to that wheel, because you're gonna need it again before you lose it. Because there's one more left. But yes, Bulls yeah, got a victory. <laughs> Bulls win. Come yes, on. Joseph. Ah, Bulls on. win. Put a chat. Ah, Bulls on. win for Matt, so he doesn't lose his will. Ah, Bulls win for Will because he's his new Will. Ah, Bulls win for Greg Braggs because he was out here agitating. Ah, Bulls win for me because I like winning. Ah, Bulls win and for yourself, Joey. Bulls win. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> I'm tapping out, guys. He's I, tapped out already. I, I'm done. Look at that. He's tapped out. I'm done. Well, I got you back then, sir. Chicago Bulls get the victory, 129-127. The big, I guess the big news, Will, was Sonogo. Like, Sonogo coming out here and having a 2020 game in the first time that he actually got some real playing time for the Bulls. I'm sure that is very exciting to people in the chat for Gabriel sure. Gabriel saying, lost your will. Sonogo will rebound you back to reality. Oh! Brazil popular saying Sonogo is our Wemby. Talk that. Uh, Gabriel oh, Adams, Adam Sonogo, greatest bull to wear number 21. Oh, that's going to oh, make Will mad. Oh, I've been saying mad. that. Uh, Nikhil uh, Prashant Actually, saying Thomas, Sonogo a go-go. Okay, you want my two cents? Oh, God, I Any, don't. <laughs> anyone out there in Bulls Nation, and I pray to God not anyone who works for this team, taking anything away from tonight's game whether it be, hey, Sonogo looks good, or anything else is dumb. So because positive or negative, taking anything away is dumb. Yes. Okay. Because that was not an NBA game. All right. With not NBA players. I No one can come at me tonight and say, they should have been playing Sonogo this whole time because that is childish nonsense. <laughs> not Good for him. 2020, that's a fun stat line. That is. Wee! Did we all have fun? I Looking did. at that stat line? I did. Wee! I did. Doesn't mean shit. I enjoyed it. I think it means something to him. Cool. You know, for a guy trying to, you know, start his NBA career. That's a pretty cool way to start it. <laughs> you know, against a team in Washington. Oh, my but, God. But that's they don't not how he started it because we've seen Sonogo minutes prior to this. No, no, no. I'm talking about real competition minutes, man. and it didn't go like that. I'm talking about actually getting minutes. He played 35 minutes. He actually got some minutes tonight. So... Actually doing it then, yeah, getting 22 and 20, no matter how we feel about it, it means something to him. And I, I'm glad that, you know, he came out and he performed. Because honestly, he could have packed that shit in early with the mistakes that he was making. But, no, he kept playing. He kept going. And I thought in the second half, he actually played way better than he did in the first. Uh, Billy giving him the start in that second half, taking Javante off the five and letting Sonogo play it. I thought he played solid, man. Like, as solid as you can play against this kind of team that you're going against in Washington. Yeah, he was, I mean, I think he just kind of did his thing. Like, we were saying this before. He's very much a 
see ball, go get ball, go put ball back in the basket. Right. Like right. he offensive rebounds and he does put backs and that's pretty much it. And when you're able to do that, I mean, you've seen guys like Andre Drummond make a living off of that. I mean, it's <laughs> that is true. Not not to say that they're the same caliber of player, but it's just a similar skill set. Yeah. And obviously, there's value in that. Like we've seen Drummond be valuable at times, mm-hmm. um, but it's it's a limited skill set too. So I don't want people to like get too excited about this to the point where we're saying, you know, he should be starting over Rooch or he no. should be playing 15, 20, 30 minutes no. a game. That's not <laughs> happening. But it was a really nice performance from him. He put up some big numbers. That's yeah. what he's been doing in the G League. That's kind of what he does. That's that's who he is. And that's all I'm taking away from it is that. Like, again, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, man, let's get him some more tick out there. Let's, let's put him ahead over some guys and things. No. I'm just celebrating the fact that he got into an NBA game and got a 2020 when he actually got some minutes for the first time. That has to feel good for him. So, Shout out to him for doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to take anything away from Sonogo feeling some level of satisfaction with this game. If he wants to feel proud of this game, he can feel proud of this game. I'm just saying that Bulls fans and Bulls brass should not put any stock into this game tonight because this was not an NBA game. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I, kudos to you if you want to enjoy it. I will not choose to listen if you're trying to tell me that Sonogo is somehow now an important factor of what the Bulls must do next. Yeah, I don't think anybody has said that, bro. I haven't heard that say it. Once. I mean, you've you've seen our chat, right? No, they're happy about him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never nobody saying that this guy is the future. Shout out to Dan with a super chat saying Sonogo 2020 game. He's saying I'm the captain now. <laughs> I hope yeah, you're, that I means hope, he's feeling good. I hope you're joking? <laughs> no, he's feeling good. That is that is not a literal thing, man. He's just feeling good. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a captain Phillips. Roberts. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. So he's just feeling good. Bulls fans just feeling good that you know the young man played well. So Cassie and Thomas saying Twitter is all uh, Bulls Twitter is already saying that. Bulls Twitter, what are they saying? Probably, I can't believe Billy hasn't been playing Sonogo this whole time. He put up 20 and 20. What's Billy doing? I don't think they could fit all that in the, in the tweet. Yeah, you, you <laughs> have more characters now than the old days. They do. You got to pay for more. Mm-hmm. You get more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't do that, kids. <laughs> uh, just miss me with that. Oh, uh, yeah. I understand please. you. I understand that, Matt. But uh, that's definitely not my thinking on it. I'm just happy he got out there and he was able to perform. Uh, and he did something that he honestly had been doing all season long in the G League. Yeah. And things like that was put up 20 and a lot of rebounds. Yeah. Um, I was telling, saying to Will, I, li- I like his brain because he has like a big man brain. Um, like, see, like you said, see ball, get ball, dunk ball. Like he sets the screen and he rolls. There's no set of screen and There's pop. There's no like complexities to it. Right. His game. Exactly. Like he's like, this Which is isn't it. like a slight. Like that's a valuable thing. But it's like similar to, you know, a microwave scoring guard that can come off the bench and like give you some threes. Yeah. But isn't necessarily going to be like, you know, running the offense in high level basketball games in the playoffs. Correct. It's Correct. Just, it's just a different thing. That's it. And it's not to say that he can't get to that level, but just where he is right now. I think a lot of people, like kind of to your point, Matt, are saying, you know, let's involve him more because he can help produce winning. He's a winning player. He's like, I saw that in the comments. And not saying that's not true, but I just think for where the Bulls are, obviously what they want to do is play their highest level players. And whether or not Vooch and DeRozan and Zach and Kobe or whoever it is are playing at their peak level, like those are the guys that are going to put the Bulls in the best chance to win. Right. And so that's obviously the direction oh they're going to go. And it's not targeted at Sonogo specifically. Sure. He's just an example tonight because he had a monster game off the bench and started uh, for Tori at the beginning of the second half, like Dave mentioned. It's not about that. It's about not taking anything away or not taking putting too much value or significance of any kind into a game like tonight. Because that's not NBA basketball. It just wasn't. So don't put weight into it when it doesn't deserve the weight. That's all I'm fucking saying. I just saw my favorite stat of the night. Sonogo, with that, <laughs> with that 22 and 20, became the second rookie to have a 2020 game this season. The first rookie, Victor Winbiam. <laughs> I mean, how, how can you deny Sonogo's potential greatness when he is in such great, great company, Dave? With me, I'm a Son- Sonogo, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> that is my favorite stat. Oh, my God, that is my favorite stat of the night, man. Wrap it up. That's the one right there, man. And that's from the Bulls account. <laughs> that's my The favorite. Bulls official account? Well, of course they do. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, man, I love this so We've got much. Wemby 2.0, you guys. That's right, man. And Billy's been ignoring him this whole time. Oh, that makes me feel great. Oh, kill me. But I, 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 forget, I honestly forgot that he is a rookie. Like, So I will put something on that, too, with the fact that he's a rookie and he actually did that is, is also uh, impressive. That's impressive, man. 20 and 20 in the NBA game is impressive. There's an Again, Adama Sonogo that music account. That was not an NBA game. Huh? There's an Adama Sonogo music account on Twitter. <laughs> Dude, I, I think you have a music account at this point. Let's go. I don't know who's creating those. <laughs> not I'm me. guessing it's mostly Russian bots. <laughs> There are sh way too many music accounts. Oh, they man. must be contained. Um, uh, oh, Kobe man. in the comments saying, there it is, Sonogo, Rookie of the Year. There I it guess. is. I don't know about that. That's it right there. Wrap uh, it up, guys. Sam Akai in the comments asking, why is Matt always a bummer? It's a Bulls win with G League players playing NBA basketball. Thank you for answering your mm -hmm. own question so I don't have to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not dancing and doing cartwheels after being forced to watch that. Oh man, it's I the think, best. This I is think the best. What Matt's trying to say <laughs> is that he is thinking bigger picture here yeah. about more than just tonight's game. Of course. And like this game was kind of silly. Maybe it represents something more like the Bulls, how they would look if they were doing a rebuild. Mm -hmm. But. I mean, this game like doesn't factor into the standings insofar as the Bulls are already locked into ninth. Their seating is set. They're playing the Hawks in the first game of the play-in. The only thing that this could have possibly affected is their standings in the Tankathon simulator, which we talked about pregame, mm -hmm. where now the Bulls are a half game ahead of uh, Houston, who if they lose tonight, the Bulls will be tied with them, and then the Bulls would have a lower chance of moving up in the lottery should they... Mm -hmm not make it out of the play-in tournament. So there's bigger picture things at stake here. Obviously, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm watching some of these games. It's fun, obviously, to win. It's fun to get lost in the moment. But there's still bigger picture questions that I'm constantly thinking about. And so that's kind of where my mind always goes in these situations. The Bushinoko poll is up. This is the best, man. I'm really having fun with this. I'm really having fun with that, man. Joe, you got to take one off, the, man. You, you know he hates that. The, uh, <laughs> the, thank you. I know he doesn't like that. You know he hates like that. that a lot, man. He's not a fan. He's not I a fan. Take the attention on me. You. Take the attention elsewhere. That's right. <laughs> Let's put it back on Sonogo. Put Dumb it back it's on 2020, Sonogo. man. Out here. I like the fact he dropped the 2020 in, in an NBA game, whether Matt believes it was an NBA game or not. They counted as an NBA game. And he did it in his first time actually getting real minutes in the NBA. I mean, that's I like that. Like yeah, I do. It's sick. I like it, dog. Like twenty and twenty some, is he's twenty and twenty, dog. Like okay, Braggs, what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> we, we appreciate the super chat. You said, "Why don't I like having fun?" It's a great question. Hashtag Sonogo MVP. Matt Matt is not a guy for fun. He likes logic fun. You know what? You know what I think is fun. To, to borrow a line from Wemby, winning, but this is mm -hmm. not a win. This does not count as a win. This is a meaningless game. I like winning at the championship level because mm -hmm. that's the Bulls fandom that I grew up on. Like Wemby? So pardon me for, again, not <laughs> jumping for joy. I ain't know the Spurs are the championship. This is, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, but yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I was not entertained at any point in that game. Uh -huh. We had some laughs. We had some fun. We did. And Portillo's. We, and we had Portillo's again. Mm -hmm. And it was needed. It was. Back-to-back -back nights. <laughs> you <laughs> zoned out again. Games 80 and 81. <laughs> I was like, I'm... I'm going to need some more beef grease, y'all. You zoned, zoned out again. And then I go to game two late in that fourth. Once um, again, dog. Good job. Kobe's uh, still in the game? Uh, okay. <laughs> Hold that thought, the Will. Anderson's got tickets let's, to the game? Let's, let's hold that thought, because oh, I did want to touch on that. Let's take our first oh, ad break goodness. first. Um, oh, and then we will come back. Whatever else is on your mind, Bulls Nation, throw us your comments. Let us know. Uh, if you want to make fun of me for being a Debbie Downer, that is more than okay. Um, either way, just make sure you hit that like button. Uh, and make sure you also are subscribed to the CSGO Sports YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dave, what's first tonight? Well, I want to talk about something just to... A little bit serious for a second, then we will get back to the fun, I promise you. But this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Did you know that one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? In fact, testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer amongst men 15 to 35. So with April being National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, our friends over at Manscaped have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Visit manscaped.com TCS to learn how to check yourself 
for early signs of cancer. And as always, you can use the promo code BULLS, B U L L S, for 20% off plus free shipping from Manscaped. You can also get that Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, y'all. And while you're using it, you can perform simple routine self checks at home while using and enjoying these Manscaped products like that Lawnmower 5.0. And in addition to providing the right tools and solutions for comfortable and easy grooming, Manscaped is committed. They are committed to raising awareness and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. That is why they will be donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society, ladies and gentlemen. Help save lives and balls by going over to manscaped.com slash... TCS and sharing their funny educational check yourself video. And while you're there, grab 20% off and free shipping with the code <clears throat> BULLS because as a famous great American philosopher once said, take care of your mentals, your balls, and your chicken. He's a legend. Woo! That lawnmower 5.0, man. They keep outdoing themselves. Man, shout, it. shout out to Manscaped. Uh, prize picks also... It's something fun that you could be doing when those real playoff games start any day now. April 20th, to be exact. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros, Sharks, Andrew Funks, Henry Drells, you just pick more than or less than on anywhere from two to six different players type projections. Watch the winnings roll in. Get in on the playoff action and win up to 100 times your money on prize picks as you and the world's best players take the game to a new level during basketball's postseason. God, it's the best time of year. Mm -hmm. it, tr it truly is. And it can be even better if you make yourself an account on prize picks and start making some picks, having some fun, and making some money. Because you can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. Our guy Joey here is on a roll yes, on them prize is. picks. Yes, he Hit is. another one in the... Uh, National Championship game. Balling out. Indeed. You can turn 10 bucks into $1,000 with basketball and hockey entries today on PrizePix, America's number one fantasy sports app. So go to prizepix.com slash CHGO and use code CHGO for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepix.com slash CHGO, promo code CHGO. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Mm -hmm. Easy as a 129-127 win over the Washington... Ooh. Ards. The Ards, baby. Ards. <laughs> the Ards. The Ards. Uh, the Lizards. <laughs> the Lizards. Those were, whew, man. Those were the, the, the dregs of Hufflepuff. <laughs> the dregs of Hufflepuff is what he just pulled out. Also technically wizards. <laughs> no, no offense to any of you self-diagnosed uh, Hufflepuffs out there. I feel like it is the worst house. I have no idea. I don't watch Harry Potter, so I have no clue. Did Joey? Didn't watch or didn't read? Like no, Harry either. Potter. Yeah. You Harry oh Potter guy? Yeah, I like Harry Potter. Books were great, but, but were late, great. late, later into it. Like, not until I was in college. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I thought you meant, like, later books. I, no, Harry, like, Harry I was fighting Voldemort before really. you were born. <laughs> <laughs> He's hopping that train. <laughs> Getting it in. I don't think that's true. Is you don't it? think uh, that's true? Okay. Let's quick fact check. When All did right. uh, Sorcerer's Stone come out? So it's a restart. Hey, this, this, is, uh, this is a Bulls post game, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it goes, man. <laughs> this is how it's going to roll. Oh, November 16th, 2001. 2001. Okay. So you that's were, the film. That, oh, yeah. So the book. The book came out, obviously, before that. Obviously. Uh, September 98. I told you it was older than you. Barely. Older than you, Joe. Barely. Uh, Sorry, Joe. What a magical stretch. Matt really needed to be right on that. <laughs> what a, what a man. He needed to get back on track tonight. <laughs> what a magical Don't worry, time. Matt. If they win the on Sunday, they'll hit 40. Ends, the Harry Potter dynasty begins, and young Joseph Spathis enters the world. Oh, man. Like, hey, what's everybody doing? <laughs> hey, what's going on? What did I miss? What did I miss? George and Lisa timed it perfectly. Oh, that's true. Perfectly timed. So, uh... Will, I believe before our break, you mentioned something about Kobe White minutes. We were joking in pregame about overs and unders. I set the Kobe 
Mo- minutes played uh, over under at 30.5. And you said that you thought that that was way too high. Mm-hmm. You said you, would th- you thought he would play closer to 20. 20 to 25, yeah. He played 27. Got That's there. a lot. He was too in many. that game in the fourth quarter. He was. Till about five minutes to go. He was in that game. Yeah, that face right there. I mean, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> He's did, an insane did person. Did we not have this talk about 24 hours ago. We just I, th- I think we did. We just talked about it. But I'm not shocked. I mean, I thought it was, I had the over two. I mean, I'm not surprised. Oh my God. I'm just disappointed. Like, it doesn't make any sense to have him out there that long. I understand starting the game with him, letting him play. I even understand the first half. But in the second half, when you clearly take Javante Green out, the, I mean, not Javante, but Torrey Craig out the game because you're going to put Sonogo there, you're obviously mm-hmm. making some changes. You know what I mean? You're making some changes and flips. You know what this game is. You know what's going on. Let Kobe get some rest and some time. You want to play him in the fourth quarter? All right, fine. Give him two minutes, three minutes in there. Get everybody set and established. Till the five-minute mark. And then said, okay, come have a seat next to me. That is insane. All right? It's insane. Because there's nothing I can sit there and say, this is why you have him out there. What is he out there to learn? What's he out there in the game? He wasn't even really shooting. He scored 20, and we didn't even know it. Like, he was just out there passing the ball more, than, more so than anything, man. But it was I, – I don't get it. I'll never understand it. But, again, it's why I'm sitting here, man, talking to y'all, enjoying – Frosty cold beverages and laughing with Matt <laughs> like, and Will too. I mean, that's I what think, I'm doing. I think there's this like discussion in the NBA of rest versus rust right now. Uh huh. And guys sitting out games at the end of seasons when there's zero like implications for the standings or for the playoffs or for the draft lottery or for anything. Sure. But then it's like, well, you have to play in and you don't want to be too rusty for it. Understandable. Like, can these guys really not, like, just get back to work after missing mm-hmm. one game or, like, mm-hmm. a week off? I don't know. I just – that's something that I will never be able to, like, have personal experience with. Sure. But it's hard for me to believe that, like, an extra two days of rest is a bad thing yes. for guys. Yes. They can still get work in. They can still practice. They don't need to be playing in these meaningless games and risking injury just so that – you can win a game that yeah. doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I d- well, it, we were talking me, about like, it in pregame a little bit. DeMar said after the game last night, well, you know, my, my take is the, the better rested I am, the better I play. And he did get the night off. But yes. he also said, like, he's never going to rest or he's never going to ask to, like, take games off. Because like, he wants to play. That's why he, he led the play. NBA in minutes this season. But that's why, like, the organization needs to be thinking big picture here. Yeah. And I feel like they miss the point on that so often. Like, they held him out to, the, to their credit, but, like, Kobe did not need to play, play 27 minutes. Torrey Craig did not need to play 34 minutes tonight. <laughs> Torrey Craig played 34 uh, minutes? Uh, Mike nuts. in the comments said, I Jeez. feel like Daylon Terry being in foul trouble kind of merited Kobe playing more. I I love you, Mike, but no. no. Well, it didn't. It was the, hilarious it that did, Kobe like, or that Daylon had four fouls at halftime and hilarious. then picked up his fifth fairly quickly yeah. into the second half. Yeah. But then he just didn't touch anyone when playing defense for the rest of the game. But guess what? You had Funk. Only played seven minutes. Why? Go to play more. Why won't you let us Could be play baptized more. in the funk? I mean, maybe the Bulls don't get this all-important victory that JK was actually meaningless if Kobe plays fewer minutes and Andrew Funk plays more. Yeah. Because we all know that he's a middle school swim team participant <laughs> and not an NBA player. Stop it. But what? what's the point? It, and no, it had nothing to do with Dalen's foul trouble. Yeah. But going back to my point earlier about seeing the big picture... To me, it's like it's always about process over results. Sure. It's about doing the right thing, regardless of what happens, because you know you're building the right habits, doing the right things that will ultimately lead to winning. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this team at times has taken shortcuts in the trade market, in free agency. Uh, they have been short sighted in terms of moves that they've made. They have been unwilling to make moves because they feel like they don't need to. And it, to me, it's like, Another example of, okay, there's not anything wrong with letting Kobe sit this game because it doesn't impact the standings. It's not thinking big picture here. And, like, to me, I just I, – I wish they would show me some signs of we can see the big picture and we can make the right procedural decisions so that we can be whole going into a playing game yes. that we really need to win to convince ourselves that mm-hmm. this whole thing was worth it. Yeah. And, and even to your point of the rest over you know, rust, like letting guys under, even going to their point of we don't want guys to get too rusty. 
Letting them play, letting them get out there, let them run like, around and taking them they're out. They're not going to Mexico on over All Star break, right? Like, exactly. But even but even just playing into that, I, I I'm like, fine, okay, I understand it. You want don't want guys to get rusty, whatever. You want to let them play. You get them out there in the first quarter, you give them some time. And you get them out there in the second quarter, you give them some time. Minutes, Twenty what minutes. What is the point of the rest of the game? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What is the point of letting them play deep into the fourth quarter? That has nothing to do with that with Russ. That's you. That's you. That's on you. That has nothing to do with them because they're already participating in your insanity by being out there on the floor in that first quarter and then that second quarter. Playing them deep into the fourth quarter in a game that means nothing to to them winning any scoring titles, to where hey. they can be all NBA, you to know whether what it, they, you get more wins, it means nothing. Playing in a game like that, Matt, where it means absolutely zero ah, is what's frustrating. However... Devil's advocate time. Your it favorite. doesn't mean absolutely zero. Tell you me. know what? This win tonight and the minutes that were needed to get it does contribute towards the argument of the Bulls record after their terrible 5-14 and 14 start mm -hmm. that some people are going to try and use when this season is mercifully over. Mm -hmm. It was Again, an ugly win. It was a win between two process. teams not playing NBA-level talent uh, players, but mm -hmm. it counted in the win column. Again. Win number 39, to be exact. They've managed to beat a Knicks team that's maybe sitting some of their guys because they're actually going to the playoffs on Sunday. Hey, that's 40 and 42. Got there last season, got there again this season, got to the play-in, and look at that. We, we finished strong because guess what? This team's basketball VP said the same thing after last season. Hey, we finished strong. I liked how we finished. And that's why we were all forced to sit through this shit again. So, yes, it did matter in that sense, Dave, because it, it helps them with the we finished strong argument as much as it is utter bullshit and nonsense. <laughs> Finish strong my ass. Results over process. Results over process. Then I guess I'll specifically say it means nothing to the players who are actually playing this. More I agree. So it, it may mean something in the front office to your point. Which is why, but like, for the, the players, players who are out the there, it means those nothing. Decisions. Like, the, exactly. the organization has to be. But um, that's why Kobe said, I'll just play, bro. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? I'll just play here, bro. Exactly. Like, I'll just work here. It's just his job. <laughs> that's all I do, man. So, yeah, like, that, that's why it doesn't mean anything to me and most people who are sitting there watching it. What Matt presented in that point, he's not wrong as far as it meaning something to the front office because he's right. You know how that press conference is going to go. We've seen it. We already know how it's going to be. But, man. It's gonna, uh, obviously for a team that wants to win in, a, in the play-in, you would think you would do whatever is best to get your ass to the point where you can compete much better on that I mean, floor. And rest every, is one of those things. Every time Kobe drove into the paint tonight, especially on a night when the Wizards are also throwing a bunch of scrubs out there yeah. who have something to prove. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to keep their job. Maybe they're trying to make a new job for themselves this offseason yeah, on yeah. a different NBA squad. When those types of players are on the floor, any and all kinds of wild shit can happen because mm -hmm. it's just a trash game. Yeah. And the risk of injuries happening from dumb shit is significantly increased in these types of games. Yes. When there are goons doing goon shit because mm -hmm. they're out there trying to keep their job or get a job. And that elevates the risk of real players like Kobe Correct. who had no need to be out there. Correct. Absolutely right. Guys out there trying to make a name for themselves. We talked about it the last game when they played the, the Zards and Vooch gets into an altercation with a young man, and the main thing you kept saying was, that, well, he was somebody who was literally just trying to make a name for himself. Yeah, it was Omarui <laughs> out there trying to start shit again tonight in just the 12 minutes off the Zard's bench. Trying to trying to make a name for himself because we don't know you. <laughs> and so he wants to be in the NBA. And like, So what better way to do it than to attack one of the players like Kobe White or something maybe, like that? Maybe some of these guys wouldn't have had to play so much except for the fact that so many guys on this team are already injured. Yeah. yeah. And they haven't used these roster spots efficiently. Yeah. And you've got... You know, obviously DeRozan, Vooch, and Caruso sitting out. You've got Caruso, uh, you've got Levine, Ball, and Williams out. You've got Drummond out. You've got Io out. You've mm -hmm. got Julian Phillips out. Like, there's nobody on this roster. So they had to expend these guys when, you know, I just feel like they could have been a little bit more judicious with their roster spots in the first place. And then you're not in this situation. Shout out to Judicious. Oh, that, that was good. Well done. I thought that you were going to get it. So oh, it. you was going to yeah. get it anyway, sir. That, that, that is Two also four. some solid perspective for, you know, the the guys we saw have a game tonight. Yeah. 
they don't sniff the floor ever if this team is healthy. Or maybe so if why they, put stock in their performance? Maybe if they, you know, wave Terry Taylor or, or sign Javante Green to that roster spot without promoting Batim, who barely made an impact tonight, five, six points <laughs> on two of 10 shooting. Uh, did you have, could did leave have four him point play. on the two-way contract, and you have an additional body there. So, I don't know. I just feel like there's always things you can do to put yourself in a better position. And sometimes it feels like the Bulls don't do that. And for me, Matt, to your point, like, I don't put the stock in it like that, but I don't take anything away from them. Like, if somebody came out here tonight, like you said, but Tim, and struggled, and you're like, yeah, he's like, right. you see? You, I don't want people putting stock into the bad play either then. Why yeah. put stock into that? Like, if you can put stock into what they did well, then don't put stock into what they did bad either. So I don't think you should do that both ways. Like, I understand the 20 and 20. Like, that's the dude. He did that. And he did it against me and you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out there on the floor. I get it. But for Patel, who struggled out there either, and people might say, oh, God, this guy, you know, sorry. I don't, you, it shouldn't be either way then if you're going to do it like that. I, I mean, I, I see your point, but I think one is far more frequent than the other. Mm -hmm. When guys who get an opportunity in a game because their team is shorthanded and maybe they're playing a shorthanded team or it's a game 81 or 82 scrub scenario like this, who play well or play better than expected because of the level of competition mm -hmm. and fans using that game as an argument to say, see, mm -hmm. play this guy, mm -hmm. happens more frequently than someone who is a end of the not even quite in the rotation kind of guy mm -hmm. getting some tick, playing poorly, and fans saying, see, he sucks. Mm. I think one of those things happens way more than the other. Yeah, well, one is because we're starving. <laughs> you know what I mean? I lay off and I'm starving. Like, people are starving. Bulls fans are starving. I, the, first time, the first time B Batim hit a three in a game, yeah. this, this fan base lost our minds. The graphics went up. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the graphics went insane. It was the okay. first change of the roster in like yeah. 365 yeah. days. So I, I, you're, you're throwing steak to lions who haven't eaten in months. And that's, that's what the reaction to this stuff is to me. Like, that's why I don't mm -hmm. put like, I'm like, well, have your fun. It's cool. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Go off with it. Because I think they understand what it is, but they just want something. Because they haven't been given anything, you know what I mean, to be proud of or to put more love into. Because yeah. they don't have a lot of good young players to Correct. get excited about. Correct. Yeah. And they don't have nothing to get excited about now about the team they're looking at. You know what I mean? Like they, they have to just kind of dive into certain things and aspects like players like our guy Sub-Zero, which is on this awesome, wonderful CHGO shirt this man is That's wearing right. right here that you can pick up, ladies and gentlemen, who's had an awesome season. You dive into that. You dive into an IO. You dive into a DeMar. But when you haven't been consistent as a roster and it's just been kind of up and down and floating, Bulls fans don't know <laughs> where to put their, you know, love into. Dave, uh, Dave Dervis in the comments saying, Bulls fans are not eating. We're drinking slim fast, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's because uh, that's all they, you've been given. Uh, Rob Antle in the comments saying, so this proves also that Billy could have played the bench and rested guys in some of these games where he thought 20-point leads weren't enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would go all the way with you on that one because in all of those yeah. other games, the Bulls... Okay, last night against the Pistons? Yes, mm. I'm with you. At any other point this season, again, do not use this game as an argument because, yes, the Bulls managed to – they almost went to overtime. This was not comfortable at, <laughs> at any point. And they were playing a Wizards team mm -hmm. with a bunch of NBA 2K creative players. Not the same thing. Mm -hmm. Not the same thing. I don't know how many times I have to say that. Shout out to the Maddie the Legend last mentioned, Julia. Shout out to uh, Maddie Legend, always hanging around. Mm -hmm. The mentions. <laughs> Uh, let's take our second break. We will come back, and I uh, we guess uh, we're good tonight. You got that right. So much potential. A win happens. So many different directions. You get <laughs> a belt. Go. That's how it goes. Uh, if you didn't th hit the like button the first time around, do it this time. Make sure you also subscribe to CSGO Sports YouTube channel, 53K and growing. Shout out to everybody who's already subscribed. Dave, um, what's up? Beer. Oh, God. You know, Julia said it earlier. She <laughs> said on that, on that close-up when Joey, you know, was getting on his Scorsese, he said, that beer looked amazing. That Coors that you were drinking looks awesome. Get a good look at it right here, ladies and gentlemen. The frosty cold beverage in this really cool-ass cup right there. You see why I know his is colder? Mountains. See the mountains. Mountains. Mountains, <laughs> mountains ladies and gents. Cold. 
as the Rockies. I'm going to sit it right there so you can get it right there. Get a look at that right there. I will delve into that after I do my homework. Whether it's your team stressing you out <laughs> or it's just life in general, things can feel just a little bit chaotic. That's why Coors Light helps you find moments that can help you chill all year. <sighs> just put your feet up, relax, and watch a Denny Average game with the Wizards or watch uh, Sonogo drop a 2020. Either way it go, you can chill with some frosty cold Coors Light. Because when those mountains turn blue, it's as cold as the Rockies. Coors Light is cold lager, cold filtered, and cold packaged for a smooth finish. And when it's time to chill, crack open that Coors Light. It's Mountain Cold Refreshment, crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. That's what it is. When it's time to chill, it's the beer that we reach for. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door via Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com. Slash C-H-G-O basketball. That's CoorsLight.com slash C-H-G-O basketball. It's the Coors Light. Find your chill. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Shout out to Cassie in the comments who said, CHGO makes my life less stressful, actually. Thank, Thank you, Cassie. Cassie. We appreciate it. Thank you very that much. That is a wonderful compliment. That's, That's awesome. what we're here for. That is definitely Relieve some for. stress. Also, hopefully, maybe someday, bask in the joyful moments together, too. I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to know what that feels I like. I really want you guys to get to know Joyful Matt Peck. I really want you guys to get to know who this man is. Seriously. You're going to love him. You're going to love him. I'd love to meet him. I mean. Yeah, I've met him a couple of times. He exists. I know, <laughs> it, know it's like a Loch Ness Monster situation. I mean, but You still get there. glimpses of it. Yeah, like, no, no. No, that's evil that villain joy. Is delivered. You know what I mean? That's evil villain joy. When Portillo's arrives, yeah. <laughs> when I'm right about shit and yeah. get to gloat about it. It's not the same. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the same, dog. I want them to see you watching the game with that, Joey. Joey caught a quick glimpse of it during our first year here. Mm. He caught a quick glimpse of it, man. But Will was at when the I, game mm. that day, so he didn't really see it. <laughs> when, I was, but, when I was rooting for W's for real. Yeah. Those Are you saying that one time? I said a quick glimpse. Quick glimpse. You saw a quick glimpse of that, dog, of what it could be. And, and it frightened him. <laughs> but... Then Matt got scary and it frightened him more. Well, last year at the beginning, and I said all the time since, just breaking my soul and horcruxing <laughs> everywhere, in the hopes that maybe someday I could become whole again. That's what the symbolism behind the hat throws are. <laughs> every hat, every I throw hat is a horcrux. It's a horcrux. It's a piece of his soul that he's throwing out there, ladies and Which gentlemen. Which just, I don't know, rough estimation of doing this for a few years is at thousands of horcruxes? Tons. Good Tons. luck finding all of those, Harry, Ron, <laughs> Hermione. <laughs> you can't find all of them. So much Potter. <laughs> Go ahead, um, But, Kazzy said that CHGO uh, and our content relieves your stress. We appreciate that. The best way to truly bask in all of the fun we have at CHGO is to become a CHGO diehard. All of the perks you get on top of our free content here on YouTube, the stuff that is in front of that paywall on our website, allchgo.com, including, you know, Will the Goat's great game recaps. But some of that Will the Goat coverage and content, diehards only. Mm -hmm. The Goat 101 newsletter, the last few have been fantastic. Going to be more of that kind of stuff coming around the corner when the Bulls actually own their first round draft pick yes. in the 24 draft class. Um, of course, also... NFL Draft is even closer, very close, in fact. Mm -hmm. They got great diehard-only content for the NFL Draft. Yeah. And speaking of, CSGO Bears Draft Party coming up both nights, Thursday and Friday. What? Joe's on weed. I believe Thursday's already sold out. There is a waiting list it you can join. Out, yes. I think there are still a few tickets left for the Friday night CSGO Bears Draft Party. Diehards get discounts to those events, all of our events, whether they be Bulls or Hawks takeovers, mm -hmm. um, all of our various parties, and, of course, during – Bear season, the tailgates themselves. Look at it. Um, perks on perks on perks, and of course, access to our diehards only uh, Discord to hang out with a channel for every team. Sign up now to now. become a diehard. Shout out to those of you who most recently did. This week's cool club people join in CHO diehard family. Shout out to Nicholas, Ed, Michael, and Chris, Vince, and Anthony, John, Phil, HD, Jared, Eric, Joe, Alex, and Keith. Mad love to each and every one of you. <laughs> Join the cool kids club, y'all. Yeah. Big Dave. Uh, Thank you very much. What? Uh, Don't spam this. Uh, <laughs> hit me. <laughs> to beat the man. You got to beat the man. Now. I'm the man. Woo. Brought to you.
to you about Empire today. It is Goon of the Night. Our people at Empire today, all they do is floors, 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 no matter what. 588 to 300. Pack Empire today. Goon of the Night, so many candidates. Woo! Candidates, however you want to say it. Candidates, candidates. I'm going to start. With you, Matthew Peck. Because <laughs> I've rather enjoyed you these past two days. Because <laughs> in both of these, in this okay. anger, they're both wins of the Bulls. And he's been more angry than ever. <laughs> it's the best. I love it so. It's my guy, man. You Never really, changed. You really have been enjoying oh. my misery <laughs> for the last few weeks. I've just been counting them down. And Dave uh, is just loving every second of just it. Just every second. Loving every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out there, Jerry, and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. Um, well, you're a goon real. of the night, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay. You know what? Andre Drummond. Oh, why? Bench teammate behavior. I loved it. Drummond was losing his mind. He was. Happy for his four. And I think somebody else earlier in the comments, uh, forgive me, I can't remember who, brought up the fact that he was showing mad love to his fellow UConn Husky. He was. When Sonogo was out there having the game of his life. Yes, he was. And proving to everyone that Sonogo should be this team's starting center now and moving forward. Uh, no, but for real, I, anytime it's, it's teammates being happy for one another, enjoying mm -hmm. one another, even like when Kobe... Like stranglehold tackled Dalen after Dalen's poster. That was a like warm heart, feel good moment. Yes. And that is the only thing keeping me alive right now, <laughs> along with the support of you, our fellow Bulls fans. And Coors Light. Uh, and Coors Light. Um, so, yeah, I, I, got, I got to give it to Drummond because it's he wrong. was just a happy teammate on the bench tonight, and I loved it. Well done. Nice hat, too, all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go, Golly. I'm going with Henry Drell. Oh, Henry God. Drell. And I'm going with Henry Drell. The, Ralph said, you better not give it to Drell. <laughs> <laughs> Will is like, go to Drell. Immediately going to Drell. Come on, I don't Will. think it's close. This dude was acting like somebody had just gotten a 50 at the dunk contest. Every <laughs> single time anything happened, he was losing his mind. It was hilarious. His reaction to the Dalen dunk. He like Borkers. started jumping up and down with his hands on his head. It was it was absurd. Wow. That, that, that also, was... Henry that Drell, goodness. that was some, that's that was some goon some stuff. Nine points, two of four from downtown, including a huge three late in that fourth quarter. Yeah. A uh, couple of steals and a block. Yeah. Plus seven off the bench. Oh, all right. That's a thing. Henry Drell. That's a thing, like, man. Future was, of the franchise. He was just. I want you to tell everyone that we're back up because we got Sonogo and Drell. Like you said earlier, you know, that Sonogo should enjoy this moment, that he's probably really obviously happy with the way that he played sure. and the way that he feels like he can exist in this league like mm -hmm. i don't think anybody on the bulls enjoyed the moment more than henry drell did mm. he was just soaking it in he was soaking it it's true definitely had the vibes of someone who's like holy shit i can't believe i'm in an nba game <laughs> right yeah. now Playing for the bulls right now. this is crazy <laughs> uh young joey spath magic sir. tackling kareem in game one <laughs> i don't want games left man <laughs> i don't always like to do this uh because it, i feel like it's sometimes when i nail the prediction it, it could steal thunder from if the person actually wins. Okay. But I feel very, very confidently about two people that it's are deserving not, it's two people. of Goon of the Night. <laughs> okay. If one of them is Braggs, I'm walking off the Number set. one is Braggs. Oh, my. <laughs> because, because Greg Braggs, he was so goon tonight that if the Bulls game went to overtime, oh. he would have... I would have thrown something at him, and Peck would have uh, physically attacked him. Yeah. That is a guarantee. That's true. He was under the skin. Brass, come listen up. You're a nominee for Goon of the Night. Come have a seat. You're a nominee for Goon of the Night. T so continue. that's my number one nominee, Brags. And my number two is Dale and Terry. Okay. Four. Was it four fouls in the first half? Yes. Four fouls in the first half. That's hard to do. Four fouls in the first half. Capped it off with the with the poster dunk, eight assists. Mm -hmm. I it's it's gonna it's be close. tough. So between Braggs and Dalen, and if I right. had to, I'd I'd give the edge to Dalen. Okay, but I'm happy to. Uh, I got to throw Braggs in there too. Braggs, did you have a goon of the night? You want to throw? Who's the in? guy that missed the layup to send it to overtime? That's who, oh, yeah. that's who. That's who. Danny That's yeah. the one. Danny we Come don't on. nominate people from other teams. I root for <laughs> Peck's insanity. 
That's what I root for when I'm here. He did not want it to go to overtime, so that there was nothing I wanted more in this world than for it to go to overtime. So I could spend more time with my good friend Matt, who's <laughs> completely normal and sane when he watches Bulls games. Oh, man. That is awesome. Okay. Well, goon of the night. What? Who deleted my drum roll? Who took away oh. Joey's drum roll? Oh, here it is. Here. Goon of the night goes to Daylon Terry. Yeah. Goon of the night for Daylon Terry. Your argument for Braggs is definitely really good. <laughs> Almost swayed me, honestly. Almost swayed me. You, you came close, Joe. But my man, four fouls, as you mentioned. But not only that, when he got that dunk on the other Vooch, <laughs> he dunked on the other Vooch tonight. I thought that was amazing. The layup that he had when he went up was also amazing. Talking to the bench after the dunk. Just the yelling he was doing. Even when he got the five fouls, he told Billy. That's what I was just going to say. He's like, no, I got, I got five. Let me stay in. I got it. It's you know what I mean? Six minutes left in the third right. quarter. <laughs> right. Jordan or he's just like, calm yeah. down. Calm it down. Did. It down. felt like I in this, this. And then he did. In this weird ass game, towards the end, it felt like Dalen Terry was a 20-year NBA veteran. Yes, yes. Dalen Terry was down. our DeMar DeRozan. When, remember DeMar scored the went, Everyone calm the fuck right, down. Right, right, right. Dalen, that's Dalen. That was Dalen, man. That was him. Braggs, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here, sir. Smoking my cigar out on the. You're going to be doing the Blackhawks post game. On the Blackhawks post game. All right. Make sure y'all tune in after this for the Blackhawks post game. (laughs) Thank you, Braggs. I got Greg Braggs, man, up in the house, up in the building, and with a hat throw. He got on the board with a hat throw. Shout out to him. I like how Matt was a a strong case for good of the night. He was. That was a very strong strong case. case. That man is a menace. That was a strong case. He was right though. That was a strong case, bro. My chair smells like stogies now. (laughs) (laughs) A very strong case for goon of the night. Well done. That was fun. Did you guys know that uh, Braggs built the Sears Tower out of metal and bronze? (laughs) Bricks. Yeah. Oh, Oh, that's true. Bricks. Brick by brick. Yeah. Little no fit. Little brick no fit. Brick. Actually made of bricks. I've, I've <laughs> talked to Braggs a couple times about that Flex. he and Vooch should possibly start a, a masonry company together. Oh, the Joey. brick by brick. Wow. Logo, Joey going deep for the jokes. Wow. <laughs> Joey going deep for the jokes, ladies and gents. Uh, Any chats, Joe? Uh, oh, you I got think we got sorry, to him. No, 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 no. We're good. Um, Two supers. Yeah, I mentioned the Dan one. Oh, yeah. And then the Braggs one, who yeah. was why, being a clown in the super chat. not like having fun? From Brad's. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel pointing out that Dalen did not get a tech this time for the for the poster facial. He like, did not. He did not. Yeah, they threw it on him very quickly. They did. That, that last time. I, I would have been more okay with him earning one tonight because it was not a 20-point game with th- three seconds left. That's true. Very true. Uh, just really quick for funsies. We were... Uh, talking about some jokey over unders in pregame. Yes, we were. Uh, well, first we asked who's leading this game in, in points scored. Uh, it was actually a tie. Okay. Javante led the Bulls with 24. Avdia led the Wizards with 24. Okay. So there was that one. Um, over under 34 and a half total turnovers between the Bulls and Wizards. Bulls Way had under. 13. Wizards 12, only 25 combined. 25. Way what under. You, what if you add in fouls? It did not feel like there were only 25 turnovers in that game. That's because every time somebody turned it over, there was also a foul on the play. That's true. There, there were so, so many, many whistles. They were in the bonus in the first My quarter. My God. Yeah. Uh, Kobe's minutes, 30 and a half. He went under at 27. 27 total fouls. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> oh official gosh. goon moments from Dalen, Dave. He is, yes, the, he is the goon winner, but did he have over or under two and a half official goon, specific goon moments? He had three. He had three. In my, in my opinion, he had three. There's the no over. telling Billy Donovan to chill out. <laughs> uh, the dunk that, that he had with, and the yelling at, at the bench yeah. that he had. For me, those were uh, goon awesome. moments. Dude, that about crazy, time, sneaky, slithery dude, and one that he That layup had? he had, very nice. How about very that time nice. he was just driving up the left side of the court completely... Oh, not surrounded by anyone, and he just fell over. And, and he wasn't water. sure. He's yep. like, "Do I peel this out to the corner? He do I like cut to the, the basket? basket? Right, right. What Darn if I do moisture on the floor? half of each and just fall down? Excuse me, four goon moments <laughs> for Dalen Terry hitting the over with that was ease. Easy over. Hitting the over, easy man. Over. Yes, uh, Javon Carter three point attempts. We set the over under at six and a half. He went four of eight tonight. Hit the over. Boom. Shooting fifty percent. Let's go. Twenty and twelve for Javon. Javon. Yeah, uh, season high, 12 assists for wow. Javon Carter. How many minutes? Uh, in 
37 minutes off the bench. Seven. Yeah, I told you Javon was playing That's minutes about, tonight. Hey, you did, I said he was playing <laughs> minutes. We, on the same we all day. said Javon was playing yeah, minutes. He tonight. getting ticked. And then, most importantly, and also most heartbreakingly, over under 0. 0.5 made threes for all of us to be baptized in the funk. <sighs> funk went 0 of 2 from downtown tonight. Still looking for his first NBA He points. barely got a chance. Wow. Seven minutes. Seven, seven minutes. minutes. Seven minutes. Chance. Seven. You got to let the funk out of the bag more than that. <laughs> I've it, never man. been so mad at Billy Donovan Dude. in my life. <laughs> let the funk I permeate. just want a funk baptism. That's it, dog. Uh, that's all we're here for. And we can get it on a Sunday. You Let's better be give it to us in game 82. Sunday, y'all. If we don't get a funk three on Sunday... Matt riots. I make this threat a lot, but <laughs> I riot. I'm walking home. <laughs> oh, oh, my man, goodness. No. Uh, we're going to call a little early tonight because that game was poop. poop, poop, uh, poop and poop. we covered all the bases we needed to cover. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us, despite it being a Friday night and that being the game we all just watched. <laughs> if you need more Chicago sports fix uh, to get your weekend started, have no fear because our CHO Blackhawks crew is here uh third period right now hawks and preds i believe the preds are currently up 4-1 uh but what 5-1 Five Five one. One. someone whose season is also almost mercifully over um but for you blackhawks fans our guys will be here for you live post game with our pal Braggs in the producer's chair. Braggs. So who knows what's gonna happen there ridiculousness uh bulls off tomorrow we are off tomorrow the season the regular season concludes sunday out in New York against the Knicks. Goat, you are heading to New York, are you not? I'm heading to New York. Flex. I will go to the Garden. All in from the Garden. Flex. If, uh, if you want to make me proud, join the Get Physically Removed from the Madison Square Garden Club. <laughs> I think I probably wouldn't have, to, I wouldn't have to try as hard as a media member. <laughs> That's a good true. point. Very could be, good point. It could be a little bit easier for me. You would probably also not be as intoxicated as I was also if you walked definitely. through the doors as a media member. Definitely. Also a good point. Definitely true. Uh, have a wonderful time. Thank you. And uh, we will talk to y'all live post game following Bulls Knicks noon central tip. So we got a nice, uh, what, like 2 33 o'clock post game? Yeah. And then. Season's over, Matt. No, oh, no. I don't. Regular man, season. I'm, I am not counting my chickens. Regular season is over. Regular season Officially is over. Officially over. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Play in! Will underscore golly read his stuff. All CSGO.com. Big day bow. BWL Sports. Shout out appreciation to our pal producer. Uh, Joey Spathis on the controls. He is at Joey Spathis. Bulls underscore Peck. We are CSU underscore Bulls. We will talk to you on Sunday. <laughs> 81 down. One to go. See you right. Be good. Peace. Peace.